Allison, thanks. Uh, Donald Trump is back home in Florida, and after being arraigned on criminal charges in Manhattan, he did plead not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records and addressed those charges later from Mar-a-Lago last night. The only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. I felt a little bit like a campaign rally last night. He is due back in court in December, but his lawyers asked that he be excused from that hearing because of what we saw yesterday, extraordinary security that was required. That's right. Even Secret Service has mm -hmm. to be with him everywhere he goes. Now, if he is convicted on all charges, he could face more than 100 years behind bars. Fox 35's Patrick Perez joining us live. He's in West Palm Beach this morning where he has been live for Good Day Orlando since Tuesday. And Patrick, in the last 48 hours, you've seen a lot of supporters gathering there. Yeah, Amy, we saw supporters out of full force on the day that the former president left to New York, and we also saw them out and about yesterday afternoon, a lot of them lining up along the road that leads right into Mar-a-Lago, which is across the water here. We were also there yesterday afternoon as the former president's motorcade made its way through Southern Boulevard, and that's where we saw the dozens and dozens of supporters out with their signs, their speakers, chanting, waiting to catch a glimpse of Trump. The vibe in that area, the mood based Based on the conversations I had with the supporters was a mixture of both excitement and anger. They were excited to have him back in town, but they were angry that any of this happened in the first place. They tell me that they feel that the former president is being targeted and that this is all just a ploy to interfere with his reelection campaign. You don't go after the president of the United States on, on charges like that. I don't think so. These are huh, trumped up charges, and um, it's just ridiculous that we've come to this, where a president of the United States is arrested on something that's, that's not even a crime. So I asked many of these supporters what they think would potentially happen if, let's say, the case went to trial, whether that would change their opinion of him whatsoever. They tell me that is not going to be the case at all. They have his back 100 percent. We're live outside Mar-a-Lago this morning. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News. All right.